Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to these Doom Dials, the first god, which is a card-based settlement builder where we play as a god. Now this is the prologue to the main game, so the first god is the first chapter of these Doom Dials, and in the first god we play as the god Kanunos, or Sir Nunos, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce their name, but whatever the case, we play as this bare-chested chappy here on the screen, who apparently is the Gaelic god of nature, animals and fertility, so Google tells me thank you Google and we play various cards to build up our settlement so we can build homes and towers and cabins and all that kind of settlement buildery stuff plus because we do happen to be a god we can raise land from the ocean and rain down meteors upon our enemies and other goddy things like that which sounds marvelous the first god prologue part of the game is on steam right now and wonderfully it's free it's all entirely free which is nice so if you're interested there is a link to the steam store page in the video description so you can go and take a little look and play the prologue if you would like to but anyway time to get on with it i think let's go and do some godding right here we go so i've completed the tutorial already i've gone and done that so i do have a fairly basic understanding of how the game works i mean i'm no expert but you know what we'll muddle through as we often do and now we need to pick a difficulty level for the game proper they're called ascension levels it's just a fancy way of saying difficulty level and we've got ascension level one all the way through to ascension level five ascension level five as you would expect is very difficult ascension level one one, though is possibly a little bit too easy i might regret saying that but it does give you quite a lot of goodies you get a lot of food and also a lot of wood gold and faith every single turn i think maybe to make it just a little bit more challenging let's go for ascension level two shall we ascension level three does have this slight problem here building a wonder which sounds like an exciting thing to do, causes a large-scale enemy attack next turn. I don't like the sound of that at all. So we're not going to go for Ascension Level 3, given that we've not really played the game very much at all. Let's go for Ascension Level 2, shall we? No unhappiness from unemployment, wood, gold, and faith base rate, plus 4 per turn. That's quite good. So the only difference really between two and one is that on level one, you get six food per turn. On level two, you don't get that. So we're going to have to concentrate on getting some food in, but that's absolutely fine. So we'll plan ascension level two, I think. And then we have to pick our god. But in the prologue, we've only got this chappy here to choose from. Sununos, Kanunos, I'm not quite sure. Lord of the Wild, looking magnificent with some wonderful antlers and a kind of thing there, a horseshoe or something. I don't know what that is. So they've got their own kind of special bonuses and things. So these ones here say, at the start of each year, if you do not have a Palisade card in your deck, add a Palisade card to your deck. Okay, that sounds quite good. But then there are more over there by the look of it. In addition to Faith, you also gain plus 1% happiness per turn for each follower within range of your shrine. Okay, so we have a shrine on the map. So we want to make sure that people are near the shrine because the more people we have near the shrine, we're going to be happier. Okay, that sounds good. I've got even more little bonuses. Okay, I thought it was one, but no, there are three. Enemies sustain one stack of bleed when they attack a tile on your island. Okay, the tutorial didn't cover whatever that means, stack of bleeds, but it sounds like a positive thing for us and a bad thing for the enemies if they're bleeding when they attack us. Okay, okay, that's fine. So, got no real choice. We shall play as you. And then we have to pick our starting cards. So the following cards will be added to your deck. So we've got, I oh know, do we pick them? I don't know if we pick them or if we just get given them. So, Hailstorm. Okay, that's quite good. So we can conjure a Hailstorm because, you know, we're a god and all that kind of stuff. A Celestial Axe. That sounds magnificent. Destroy all trees within range. Gain four wood for each tree destroyed. And Rockfall. Create two to five rocks on empty tiles in range. Okay, so it just says there the following cards will be added. I don't think we pick them. They're the ones that we've been given to play with at the start. I mean, they're all quite good. They're all quite good. They sound quite gaudy. They sound like quite gaudy cards. Conjuring hail and chopping down trees and producing rocks. They sound very gaudy indeed. So here we go. Let's begin the game and see how we get on. Ooh, enemies. Oh, okay. So we've got a little kind of clue as to what we might be up against. So there are Viking raiders. They attack gold sources unless our shrine is closer. Saxon raiders attack food sources unless a shrine is closer. Blight witches attack food. Slwag, oh, how do you pronounce that? Slwags, they attack housing, and banshees attack housing. Okay, so sort of real world things, Vikings and Saxons, and then we've got kind of fantasy world things with witches and that kind of floaty zombie thing, and then a banshee. Okay, marvellous. Right, here we go. Let the games begin. It is the dawn of a new world. Your followers wait in anticipation to see where you will take them. 
Will you lead them to glory? Or will you lead them to their doom? Choose an option below. I mean, let's not say, hey, we're going to lead you to your doom. That's not going to be good for inspiring faith, is it? Here we go. Let's get to it. Choose your starting God power and view the prayers of your followers. Okay. Ooh, we get a God power. Okay, none of this was in the tutorial. Choose a God power card to add to your starting deck. Okay, this is very exciting. Spiky walls. Oh, I love some spiky walls. God power. 12 damage to enemies adjacent or diagonal to palisades or defensive walls. 12 damage seems like quite a lot. Or bloody roots plus 4 bleed to all enemies on your island. That also does seem quite good. And there are various bits on the cards. We'll come to that in a bit. There's a thing up there and a thing down here and a thing there. But yeah, there's various things all over the cards. Um, I quite like the idea of spiky walls. If we could hide behind a great big load of walls, that's got to be a good thing. That's nice and defensive. So, um, yeah, okay, well, there you go. God powers cannot be harvested. Once they're gone, they're gone for good, so use them wisely. Oh, okay. Right, so that one is going to rely on us building some palisades or defensive walls. So that'll only take effect if we have those. That'll just affect people on the island. But... 12 damage, is that better than plus 4 bleed? I don't know. Do you know what? Spiky walls it is. Because look, they look like giant pencils. So, okay, we shall have that, please. And now these are our kind of goals, if you like. These are our goals. They're called prayers. We have to try to get these sorted. So, we've got 60 turns to build two wonders. And that's going to be the ore prayer. We've got 50 turns to connect up to three different islands. And we can do that by you know, producing land, because again, we're a god, and we do that, and we get some lovely kind of happy people believing in us. And then community, what's well, that? Maintain eight followers and 80% or higher happiness for six consecutive turns. And we've got 50 turns to achieve that. So that's gonna be quite tricky to do, because of course, we have to be at that point with all that working by turn, what's that, 42? No, 44, Mass with Penge. Um, yeah to get that done. So that could be quite tricky, but okay, right, so there are our kind of goals. They appear in the corner. And here we go, right now we can actually get on with the game proper. So there is our little starting island. That's what we have. There is a shrine in the middle. That's our fancy shrine. And that's all we have right now. That over there is shrine. And on the island that we're actually starting on, got a bit of a tree. There's some rocks, little kind of pond type thing there. There's plenty of fish around us. That could be quite good. That could be quite helpful with the whole food thing because, of course, we're not producing any food right now. And then up here, we've got all sorts of different kind of things. So let's go through those show and see what we've got going on on the resources bar. So first up, we have followers. We've got four of those, but it says four slash zero. So we've got four followers, but they currently have nowhere to live. So four people, but no homes. That could be a bit of a problem because when they don't have any homes, they can't become workers. If we provided four homes, those followers would then become workers. At the moment, we've got four people quite happily just sort of hanging around, I suppose, enjoying living out in nature, but we do need to get them some houses because then they can become workers and then they can go and do things around the place. That there is happiness, 80% happiness right now, but it's falling by 4% every turn. A turn is a season, effectively. Then we've got... 80 food right now, but we're losing four per turn. So we've got to sort that out at some point soon. Got some wood, that's going up by four per turn. Got some stone, got a little bit of iron, got some gold, and we've got some faith. And gold and faith are ticking up as well a little bit because our difficulty level, as is the wood. And now we've got these cards down here, which we can play. So I think maybe right now, let's get some housing down, shall we? Plus two housing. We've got four followers, but they've got nowhere to live. So we've got these two cabins here. So I think we put them down and we do want them to be near to our our sort of uh, thing there, our shrine, don't we? Because then our god power, one of our god abilities, was that that's going to give us more happiness the more people are within range of that. So maybe there's the range of that, look. Could we possibly build the houses down here, look? That'd be quite good. So we can see here, to build the cabin, it's going to take four bits of wood. That's fine. And also it tells you the shape. It tells you the shape of the cabin just there. So it's going to be sort of in that arrangement. So it's going to be two squares in that shape. So go like that. And there we go. We can see it looks exactly like that. So if we do that, that's going to get us two people and living in a house. Two workers, that's good. Let's get the other two people in a house as well, shall we? That seems like quite a sensible thing to do. And we'll pop that there like that. Wonderful. And we've got a meteor. We don't need to deal any damage right now. We could produce some rocks or we could chop down. We could chop down quite a lot of trees to get a huge amount of wood. There's only one tree there, but we have got this entire map to look around at. The only thing is there aren't any great big kind of 
blocks of trees anywhere. There's not a forest anywhere. We do have tree cards eventually, but we haven't got any right now. Also, I've lost the settlement. Ah, oh, there it is. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Um, okay, there's no real point producing rocks either, because right now we can't do anything with them. Okay, so we could. What you can do is to get a new set of cards. You can do that. So if you have enough faith, you get these kind of... I don't know what that is, like a faith button or something. We press that, we can do it four times at the moment, and we get a new hand of cards. But I think for now that's okay. So let's go to harvest our resources from this turn. So we'll go and do that, look. Uh, and now we can buy some cards. We've got, what, 34 gold. So what is worth having? I think a fishing platform. I think we have to get a fishing platform in because we need some food. So get that in. So that's going to be, it's going to cost eight gold to put down and four gold to buy the car to even put in our hand. So we'll have that, please. Now we're down to 30 gold. A gold mine. Each worker provides plus one gold per turn for each rock in range. Destroys rock tiles in range each turn. Ah, that could be quite helpful. That could be quite handy. So while there are rock tiles there, we can, we can get money out of it and we can produce rock tiles. We didn't last turn, but that card will come round again. So that could be quite handy. It's quite expensive to buy. It's quite costly to buy. We'll have that. And you know, we'll have the Lumberjacks as well. We'll have that too. We'll leave ourselves with 20 gold for now. You can refresh that list for two gold, but we're not going to do that now. So, okay, go there. So, Autumn, here we go. Right, here's all the exciting bits and bobs. So, we can make trees and we can make land. And so, there we go. It's going to cost two faith to make a bit of land. It's going to appear in that shape. So it's a bit Tetrisy, and we can do this four times. That will appear four times in our hand, and then after the fourth use, it's going to disappear. However, when you connect up to new islands, you get exciting bonuses, or maybe not so good bonuses. Things can go a bit wrong as well, but that island is quite near. And the tutorial did say the earlier on in the game you connect to new islands, the better the results are. So I think... Let's use two of our faith points to make a bit of land just there. So here we go. First great big exciting god power of the day. Boom! Wonderful. Created some land. And then we'll use that one. And I think, hang on, if we do this correctly, we can rotate it round. We could have it going like that. It will black those fish, but there's plenty of other fish. So if we pop that in, we've connected to that, and now we get an exciting thing. Your settlement revels in prosperity. Your followers are making so much gold, they don't know what to do with it. Okay, that's a good thing. So now we choose an option, have them donate it. We gain the donations relic. We end a turn with excess gold, gain that much in faith. Oh, that's quite good. So we've got plus four gold. So that would give us an additional plus four faith as well as the plus eight you've already got going on. Or have them invest it when you end a turn with excess gold, gain that much happiness. I think faith is looking okay. Happiness is on plus zero percent. You know what? Invest it. Gain the dividends relic. Where do we look at relics? Are they in there? Dividends added to your relic collection. Ah, click to view relics and curses. There we go. A dividends relic. Okay, that's quite good. And then we've got a couple of bits of forest. So I think maybe, might it be worth, we could put our gold mine over here when we get it. But up here, look, we could put some trees. In fact, hang on, that's perfect. We could put a great big kind of foresty bit. Oh no, it's not perfect. That's only three. Oh, boo. Okay, now that's a bit of a nuisance. That's not as perfect as I wanted it to be. Uh, we could put some trees in there, look. So drop some trees in. And then we could put some more trees in. And then at some point, you might get a lumberjack cabin. And they could be in there. And they could bring some wood in, which would be useful. Yeah, so if we put that there, look, boop, and then that's going to be, so yeah, a Tetris shape type thing, but this is fine. So we can rotate it round. If we put that there, look, and then put, say, a lumberjack there, they've got quite a lot of trees around them. That's quite good. Okay, right. End that turn. Now winter comes around. Uh, we could do with something that generates food. Ah, here we go. Right. Fishing platform is eight money, which is good. That's what we want. We want to get some uh, want to get some fish in. But yeah, it's going to cost eight gold. We've got enough of that. But yeah, we need some food. So each worker provides plus one food per turn for each fish within range. Depletes fish tiles in range each turn. Right, there's some fish down here, look. There's quite a lot of fish just there. Uh, we can rotate this round, I think. Hang on. How's that going to work? There's only there's only one there. That's, that's rubbish. Hang on. There's got to be more fish around. There's not much range on this thing. I think we can't put it on that island because we're not connected to it, but that'd be quite useful, wouldn't it? Have we got any land? 
Are we building any land? No. However, there is a lumberjack. Do you know what? Put the lumberjack there. Three to six wood per turn because there's a lot of trees around and they're going to chop the trees down eventually. But we can always put them back because we're a god. Um, spiky walls. Don't need to do that. Gold mine. We could put that in. That's eight wood. We could put that in. Oh, it's really big. The gold mine is big. Okay, three to nine gold per turn. I think we put that there, look. And we have to assign people to it. We'll go and do that in a second. Um, and then, yeah, the fishing platform. We do need to do this because we do need to get some food in. Um, ah, that might work. Two to six food per turn because there are two fish resources in that range. That's quite handy. Okay, do you know what? Put that in for now. And now I need to go and assign some workers. So you click that. Um, yeah, so let's have... Hang on. Bring down the lumberjacks because we've got an okay amount of wood anyway and get some people doing some fishing. In fact, also less people in the gold mine, more people fishing. So at the moment, we're balancing out our food needs, which is a good thing. Wonderful. Uh, we don't need to drop a meteor on somebody and we don't need to do spiky walls. Okay, wonderful. And we could do that. We could. We're going to get a new follower next turn. So a new follower is going to arrive, which means ideally we do need a house as well for them to go and live in. That's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Um, okay, never mind. Remind me what these were again. So wonders, connect to islands, have people happy, and also have eight followers. Okay, right. So we're not quite at those points yet. We're Okay with connecting up the islands. We've done one. We can connect to that. Look, connect it down here. That's going to be simple. I think we're going to complete world build without too much of a bother. It's the other two that might be slightly trickier. Okay, so I think for now we're done. So let's go to the new year. Happy new year, everybody. That's very exciting. So we're doing some good jobs in terms of picking up gold and faith and wood's quite good. Food is coming down a bit. Happiness also coming down a bit. Ah, but because of our special ability, we've now got a palisade. Build a defensive wall to protect against attackers. Okay, now where do we want to build that exactly? Because I don't know where we're going to get attacked from. I mean, it's it's four things in a line. It's quite big. It's quite a big thing. Um, a hailstorm, again, no baddies coming by, but okay. Hang on, we can clear that, can't we? Uh, clear that, clear that, and clear that. Right, so they've gone through one of the fish tiles, and they've gone through one of the stone tiles. But we can produce some more rocks. So I think if we put that, say, there, it won't destroy the mine because that's in place, but everything around it will have lots of rocks there. I mean, do we want to do it here? Do you know what? We're just going to do it there. Right, so a few rocks have appeared. That means they can carry on mining lovely gold and giving us lovely coins. Okay, that's good. Can't use that celestial axe. That is going to flatten all of those trees. I suppose in theory we could do that. That would give us, that would max out our wood. We don't need to do that, though. We don't need to do that because we've got a woodcutter here doing some good jobs anyway. So that's fine. Um, forest. We could. We could. Hang on. If we rotate that around, we could put that there. That's even more trees for the lumberjack to cut down. And then possibly if we get another lumberjack, we can have another one there. Okay. That's quite good. We do need some. We need some housing, really. We've got a follow without a house. Um, and then, yeah, where do we put this palisade? Because it is quite big. It's quite big, the palisade. I was kind of thinking we'd put it like down here or something, but there is um that there's you know, not enough land to put it on. Can we put it there? No. Okay, I haven't got anywhere to put this. Uh, do we do do we do that? If we do that, we can only do it four times, but it might be quite good to do that now. That'll then get us a whole new hand of cards, and that could be quite useful. Let's do that, shall we? So we can do that four times. I don't know if we max that out. Does it give us it back? I don't know. We're going to do that, look. Um, oh, no. Does it cost four faith? Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe it costs four faith to do. Okay. Possibly we should have been doing that a lot more. Okay. There we go. I've, I've understood something. That's a new thing. Right. Let's get some more rocks in over here then, shall we? Right. Lots of rocks the gold mine to go and grab. That's wonderful. Um, and then we've got... Oh. Okay, right, no, might have made a slight boo-boo there, because now we have no faith left. Right, okay, no, a bit of a mistake, but you know what? That's fine. I mean, the uh, the land would have been quite useful. Never mind. Right, end that turn. Summer's here. Yay for summer. Right, eight faith points. Must remember to only spend the points we've got. The palisade is back. Um, don't need a meteor. Don't need a forest. Don't need a celestial axe. Okay, we're going to do that again. We're going to spend four of our faith on doing that. There we go. Faith is low. Enemies approaching. This could be a problem. This could be a bit of an issue. 
because we haven't got any means of defending ourselves against them at all. We've not got any spiky walls, and we've not got any defensive towers. This could be a bit of a bother. We've got four faith points left. We could potentially put the palisade in. That could protect against attackers. And I'm thinking we just put it there, look. We could just put it there, but we've got no means of defence. Uh, unless, unless, hang on, hang on, maybe, maybe we just save our faith and then hope that next time we get you know, the meteors or whatever. It would be really good to put some more land down, but that's going to be two faith. That's going to be two faith. So I would use it all up and then we only get eight per turn. So next turn, you're yeah, running through food as well quite quick. But I think yeah, if enemies are approaching, we need to save up our faith so we can chuck meteors at them or whatever. So do you know what? We'll have that for now. That's fine. Ah, okay, right. We get some different things. So logging camp, right. That's an upgraded form of the, the so lumberjack cabin. Another fishing platform. Again, that would not be such a bad thing. A gathering hut, though. That could be... Oh, hang on. Each worker provides plus two stone or wood per turn. No, food is what we want. Food is what we need. Um, another fishing platform. That would be quite helpful. Don't need celestial axe. Logging camp, not so bothered. I suppose that might be okay. That'll give some people a job or two. Okay, that's all good. Do we spend... We've got quite a bit of money. Do we spend a bit of money on refreshing that list? Uh, ah, right. Here we go. A cabin. Yes, please. A shield knight. Okay, that sounds like a good thing. Having some sort of defense seems like quite a good thing. Uh, treasury is stone and wood. Plus 40 storage for gold. Uh, or some more trees. Do you know what? For now, we're okay. Right, okay, so exit that, autumn, and are we being attacked? Are we being, enemies approaching from the northeast? Can we see them? Can we see where the enemies are? Uh, no, we can't, the map is huge. I hadn't realized the map was quite that big. Good grief, the map is gigantic. I don't think we can see them. Um, I do like how the seasons change. It's very pretty, look, nice sort of autumnal colored trees now. Um, so the fishing thing here is now completely useless. So what do we do with that? How do we get stuff back from that? Because now that can't do anything. There's two workers in there, but there's no point because there's no fish. So let's get them back, look. So that gives us a few more workers. But now we're going through five food and we've got no food at all going on coming in. Um, okay, so we could... What have we got now? Twelve. Hailstorm is nine. Hailstorm is nine faith. And a meteor is three faith. I think... We keep, I think we keep our faith. I don't think we do any of these things right now. I know it's another turn and we've got to try and get through these things quickly. We've built no wonders at all just yet. But I think end our turn until the bad guys are here. Enemies attacking next turn from the northeast plus one follower next turn. However, we can now build a cabin. Put the cabin there. That's within range of the shrine. That's going to get happiness up. There we go. Happiness now one plus zero percent. Yay. And if we could get the fishing platform in, get some more fish. That would be marvellous. There's not really anywhere that's got huge amounts of fish. Over there's got a teeny tiny... Hang on, there's two squares there, actually, I think. I think... Yeah, there and there's some fish. Okay, do you know what? We'll put that there, look. And that will get us some fish. And because there are people just hanging around, they just automatically go over here. So now we're actually gaining food, which is quite exciting. Um, how many workers have we got? We've got uh, three, four, five assigned because that fishing platform is dead. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. I was thinking, do we put down the... Um... Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. We could get a shield knight to also help us defend. But we are going to need to reduce... Yeah, the workers on the fishing platform. So not that. And then I think we do get a shield knight. I think we get some defense in it. I mean, do they stay where that is? They're attacking from the northeast, it said. I mean, do our people move? That's what I don't understand. Do they move about? I don't know. They're attacking from up here. But, I mean, if we put them there, is, I mean, where are they going to land? I don't know. I assume these people run about. I assume they move about to fight the enemy, wherever the enemy turn up. If we put them there, look, you can stand around there. Hello, Shield Knight. How are you? We've got some defense. Yay. Right. Plenty of faith stored. So I think... Do you know what? We can get nine next turn anyway. So let's use four faith to refresh that list. Right, a bit of land. 
two more faith to maybe try and connect down here possibly that would be okay but if we connect over there that could also be quite useful there's some rocks over there but yeah we need to connect to other bits of land anyway so hang on rotate that round put that in like that look and then try and connect that bit up at some point in the future but yeah we don't need any more trees right now loads of trees over there yeah food and happiness are the big things okay right Go to the next thing. Let's see how we deal with the enemy attacking us. Hopefully, we're going to get some magical powers to do it. Right, a meteor and a hailstorm and a shield knight. Okay, so how do we make them attack? I assume that they just fight at the end of their turn. They've arrived where the guy is, which is quite handy. <laughs> That's quite useful. Um, okay, the rocks are being mined for gold. That's to be expected. So a meteor. We could drop a meteor on them. That'll damage a single tar. So if we drop a meteor on that, we there we go. Amazing god powers. And then we could hailstorm that thing. That's nine faith, but we have got that faith anyway. So do you know what? Let's do a hailstorm over there. They're now bleeding. They've taken bleed damage, which is good for us. And then we can use our rest of our faith to connect up to that island there. Six stone. Your settlement is developing nicely, and your followers are excited for what the future may bring inspire the artisans gain two food per follower when you put a farm windmill or bakery that could be quite handy or inspire the builders one to five percent happiness when you build a building oh no these are all incredibly incredibly difficult decisions we need both those things we need food and happiness however food is going down quicker than happiness and food seems to be a harder thing to acquire. So do you know what? Inspire the artisans. Let's get some lovely artisanal bread and all that kind of stuff in. Some really fancy homemade bread and that kind of stuff. Lovely homemade cakes, all very delicious. So I think that's the right one to do. Or, or is it the right one to do? Do you want to inspire the builders? Because that's happiness going up. Uh, oh, I don't know what to do. Right, hang on, I'm going to have a dither about this for a second. Hang on. No, I think we do go for this. Let's go and inspire the artisans and we shall have a lovely harvest festival because that sounds like a fun thing to do. So, okay, we'll pick that. Oh, prayer answered. World build. Oh, we've connected to three. Have we? Connected islands three times. Are we connected to three islands? Oh, okay, that's good. I thought it was that one and the one down there. I thought we were connected to two, but oh, okay. No, I've forgotten about the third one, whatever. Okay, oh no, we've connected three islands. Because of course we've got our starting island, and we've connected to one down there, and the one over there. Okay, right, that makes sense. So we've done that, we get to claim a reward now for answering that prayer. What do we get? We get either, oh, spiky walls or bloody roots. We've got spiky walls already, so let's have bloody roots. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Right, now we can get a load of wood, don't need that. But we could... They're still there, but I think our, our, our fighty person can fight them off. I think over here, look, we could possibly make a load of trees and then just chop them down at some point. We can just put the trees over here. We have got some more land going on. I mean, is it worth trying to connect down here, look? And if we connect over there, we could put a fishing thing over there. And then that's going to be quite helpful because there's quite a lot of fish over there. So do you know what? Let's put that there, drop that in, and then we'll have... We can only put one load of forest down for now, but you know what? That's fine. Let's just pop that in over here. Look, hang on. Let's, uh, I don't put it like that Tetris style and end that turn. That's fine. Right, we fought the bad guys away and our guy is standing there very proud and very, very good. Well done, you. Right, Palisade. Defensive wall to protect against the attackers. I mean, do we just put one over there somewhere? Do you know what? Let's put one there, look because it puts the palisade down. There we go, spiky, exciting wall. Rockfall we don't need. Gathering hut, provides plus two stone or wood per turn. I mean, does it matter where we put this thing? Can we tuck it behind the palisade? Do we just put it there? They're just gonna provide some sort of resource, but we need some more people as well. Okay, that's fine. And then that, and that's no use. Let's use four of our faith to refresh that list. Okay, so meteor, not bothered. Land. Again, let's try and connect up over here. Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? That's <laughs> that's not the right shape of land we wanted over there. Uh, we could, we could possibly, we could fill that in. We could fill that in and build more palisade across the side. That might be quite useful. Gonna lose some fish, but that's okay. Right, so we've got that. And let's get some more trees. Get some more trees, that'll do. There you go, boop, yay for trees. Right. 
go to harvest, and what do we have now? Big pile of money to buy some new things. Uh, destroy some rocks, a tavern. Each worker provides plus one happiness per turn for each follower in range. Requires two food per turn. We need some food. We desperately need some food. If only we'd have gone for difficulty level one, we'd have had a load of food. Uh, logging camp, we're okay. Gold mine, we're okay. Right, still got loads of money. Let's refresh that list again. So we'll have another cabin, because then we can have eight housing, and that's quite useful. Um, a brute. We could have a brute. Okay, not so bothered about the trees. I think, I mean, yeah, do we just get you in? Minus 1% happiness per turn is a bit of a bother. Joe, no, we're not going to have that. In fact, but it would be handy to have you in the list, just in case. Do you know what? We'll buy that. Refresh the list again. Fish. Okay, Oh, gain four food for each food producing tile within range. Oh, a farm. This is what we need. Right, okay, yeah, buy a farm. Each worker adds plus five food to a stockpile each turn. Or stockpile food is harvested when you end your summer turn. Okay, that's going to be crucial to everything. We'll have the miracle harvest. And we will have the fish card, please. We don't really need to store that wood because we've not got too much to do with it. Right, refresh it again because we have got a lot of gold. A longbow tower. Oh, demolish. We can destroy that fish tile that's not doing anything. Okay, yeah, we'll get rid of that. We'll have that one. Um, do we need a house? We'll get another house. We'll get the longbow tower and then we'll save some money. We won't have a gambling den. Okay, right, so come out of that. It's autumn. Your fishing platform has no more fish tiles in range. Well, maybe at some point soon they could do. However, tavern. We do need... We're going to run out of food very soon. Okay, right, we need that fish thing to come in. But the tavern is going to be very handy indeed. It's quite, it's quite big, the tavern. It's quite... Oh, crikey, it's very big is the tavern. However... If we put it... Uh, okay, the tavern hasn't got anywhere decent where it can go. That's a bit of a nuisance. Um, how big is it? It's three in a line. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on a second. If we were able to put it there, it would still only affect one house. Uh, we've got nowhere we can put that where it can affect all the houses. We need to put it there, look, and put the houses around it. Okay, that's that's a bit of a bother. How about then... We get some land, we rotate it, I think we can flip that, can we? So we can put that like that. We're going to get rid of that fishing dock anyway. Then we can put the tavern there, look. And then we can have a house to the right and a house to the left. That's what we could do. Right, so put the tavern in. Nobody working there right now. Go to this. So, okay, fishing platform, take people out. Gathering hut, we don't need people in the gathering hut. It was just a nice thing to have. So how about... We put some people in the tavern. Amazing stuff. Okay, so somebody's working in the tavern. We are going through our food. Great guns. Let's build a cabin there. If I put it underneath. So if somebody lives in there, they're going to be happy because it's next to the tavern. And use four of our faith to hopefully... Okay. Oh, botherations. All the things we we want have come up now. Right, demolish is three gold. So demolish that. That's fine. Right, okay. That's gone. This is six faith to get some fish and eight gold to get the farm down. Um, and we have got room over here, look. We could put some farm stuff over here. That would be fine. Um, so yeah, so if we put that there, there's a farm. And then if we get some fish over here, what does it do again? Two to five fish on empty tiles in range. So if we say, if we put that there... That's going to produce some fish, hopefully. Right, two more fish tiles. That's really handy. We can accommodate eight people. This is wonderful. Right, so um, two people on the farm, one person in the tavern. Do we need a lumberjack right now? We don't need a lumberjack. How are we doing for gold? We've only got seven gold. Okay, so remove the lumberjack and put them to work in the um, on the fishing platform. So we've got a little bit of food coming in because we are very quickly going through food which is a bit of a nuisance. And you know what? We'll put the other cabin down. We might as well put that there. Okay, wonderful. Right, end turn. Winter's come around. That could be quite useful. We need more people. We need more people. One follower is going to join next turn. So I think for now, let's just have a quiet turn. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to have a nice quiet turn. Go to the new year. Happy new year, everybody. Um, don't forget to remo remove workers from defensive towers. We haven't got any of those. <laughs> 
Don't you worry about that. It's going to be fine. Right. They're in the field doing some farming. That's going to be amazing for our food. Happiness is climbing up. Seven followers. We need one more follower to join us. There's plenty of housing. That's good. Palisade. Okay. We could build a bit of palisade. We've also got a chunk of land. Uh, hang on. Land. And then palisade. Yes. Okay, right. That sort of looks vaguely effective. Uh, do we need to blow anything up? I don't think we do. No point using hailstorm. Rocks. They're still mining plenty of things around there. They've got three big rocks. So that's going to be okay. I think let's refresh that list and see what we can do. Right. So more fish, please. More fish over there. That's going to be wonderful. And uh, are there two on that space now? One there? There's quite a lot of fish over there. That's good. Forest. Don't think we necessarily need that. Gain four food for each food producing tile within range. So if we do that, it's going to be 16 food. That's huge. That's a lot. That's only four food. That's 16 food. Is there anything else? No. Do you know what? I think we go for it. We can only do that. Uh, six faith, that's fine. We can do it four times. But that's going to give us a lot of food. Do you know what? Yay, it's a miracle. Faith is low. How is faith low? We've just produced much in the way of food. Magic food has just appeared. We've just done amazing goddy things. Okay, end our turn there. Right, so summer rolls around. The field's gone all sort of lovely and yellowy and golden looking. The crops are growing. That's wonderful. Do we get a crossbow tower? Do we get the tower in long range, one damage per worker, attacks nearest enemy in range? So I think what we do is, let's pop in one of these. Uh, I mean, just there. I kind of want it over here somewhere so it can defend the shrine. Because if the shrine is destroyed, that's it. It's game over. So if we put that there, look, we can attack people that are picking on the shrine. So I think, yeah, let's go for that. We'll put that in there. And somebody is going to go and work in that right now. You don't necessarily need to, but that's fine. How are we doing with this thing? No wonders. Uh, that we might get to that point at some point, actually. We might go to the community one. Happiness is ticking up. We just need another follower. We need another follower, but that's fine. Right. Food's going to fly up in a second. So I think save all of our resources. Go to... Oh, here we go. Harvest time. Tax go to gathering up forest. I don't really need any of these. We're okay for wood. Uh, we're okay for money. Yeah, that's going to affect happiness. So we don't want to affect happiness. That's one of our key things. Gathering hope. Got one of those. That's fine. Forest. Got plenty of trees at the minute. So that's okay. Let's refresh that for a bit of money. Um, okay, land is good. We'll have a bit of land, please. Uh, I mean, a lumber yard. We could store more wood. It might be useful, possibly. Do you know, we'll have that because it's something to build. Uh, miracle harvest. It's quite cheap, isn't it? It's it's quite... Hang on, it's no, zero gold. Oh, oh, yeah, we'll have that for free. Thank you. That's quite handy. Um, and do we need a cabin? No, okay, refresh that again. Uh, destroy rocks. Deal two damage to each enemy that's adjacent or diagonal to a forest tile on your island. That could be quite handy. A panning hut. Each worker provides plus three gold per turn if at least one water tile is in range. Okay, that's more gold. We've got the gold mine going on there, so we're okay. I'd like some more food things. Cannery. Each worker generates plus two food and minus one happiness for each food generated in range. Why? Why minus? Oh, hang on. A wonder. A wonder. We need to get those. It's ten money, but we've got to get that sort. Do you know what? We'll buy that immediately. Why would a cannery be bad? That's lovely canned food. You can have soup and stuff, everybody. It's going to be wonderful. Um, I mean, yeah, do we want that minus one happiness for each food generated in range. I think we're okay without that. I don't want to affect happiness. I don't want to make people sad. Um, do you know what? For now, that will do. That's plenty of cards. Right, so we're slowly mining the rocks around that, but that's okay. Uh, do we need to demolish anything? I don't think we do. Food is looking pretty good right now, so we're not going to use demolish. We've got another palisade coming in. Can we do anything with that palisade? Uh, could we? Hang on. Big block of land. Can we stick a bit of land there and then put a palisade there just in case the bad guys come from that direction? And then we've got a lumber yard. 50 storage for wood. Uh, just put it over there. That's that's fine. We'll just pop that in. Right, so now we can store a huge amount of wood. 
Okay, right, and then I think, spend four of our faith to refresh that list. Um, we'll do Miracle Harvest again, because that really tops up our food. So now we've maxed out food. Okay, that's wonderful. Uh, oh, bother. Okay, there is a wonder. We haven't got enough stone. We're not generating enough stone. Okay, maybe we need somebody in the gathering hut picking up some stone. Okay, what we should do is then, hang on, hang on. So what's looking pretty good? Go to workers. Somebody in the longboat hut. Uh, I mean, do we take, do we take somebody out of the fishing platform and put them in the gathering hut? Let's put them in the gathering hut. So you can go and work over there and stone per turn two. Okay, yeah, because they're next some stone. Okay, well, that's going to be handy. We can't do the standing stones right now, but we will get there at some point. And I think we end our turn for now. So we go to winter. And, I mean, yeah, we have got... Hang on, somebody's in the defensive tower. But we don't need them in the defensive tower because they're not doing anything in there. Uh, a square bit of land. Where would that be useful? Possibly in here. Just to sort of link bits of land up, possibly. Do you know, we'll put it there, look. Yeah, it's all linked together. Wonderful. Um, and fish. Put the fish back over there for now. That's handy. Spiky walls demolish. Right, I think what we do is... Yeah, we're going to get... Hang on. Enemies approaching from the northeast. Bother. Okay, there is a big wall at the northeast. That's quite handy. Um, we're going to get another follower next turn. So I think we save all our resources. Go to next turn. It's spring. The gold mine is slowly running out of stones. So what we could do is just drop some more stone back in around the gold mine. That's helpful. Um, another palisade. Can we get another palisade in? I don't think we can. We've got all the exciting things we need to fight off the baddies. And they're not here. They're coming next turn when we're not going to have hailstorms, meteors and bloody roots going on. That is a bit of a nuisance. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Can't do much about that. Um... Let's use four of our faith points. Uh, oh, now. Uh, another palisade, that's not much good, but we could get loads of fish down here. So that's going to keep us going for food for a while when we put people back in. Um, oh, we've got a spare worker. Hang on, we could put a worker back in the fishing platform to generate a tiny bit of a tiny bit of food there. There it is. Yeah, there you go. One person doing some fishing. They're generating food now. So we're on minus three. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Faith is low. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, and we're now over 80% happiness and we've got eight followers. So we should potentially be sort of completing the community prayer just there. That's going to be very exciting. And we're picking up some stone. Okay, right. End the turn. Oh, there are many baddies. There are three baddies. Um, okay, right. We could chuck a meteor at one of them for three faith. And then we could, uh, oh no, I don't know how much it is to, to get the spiky, the palisade attack thing. Um, I don't know how much that was. Yeah, we had the sort of the thing which attacks things next to it. Yeah, the spiky walls, where it was called. That would be quite useful because they're next to the walls. Um, how are we going to do this then? How are we going to do this? I and mean, we could just blow up one of the boats with a meteor. Let's do that. Let's drop a thing there. So, boom. Right, one boat with a person that goes down. Uh, can't do much else right now. So, let's refresh that list. Uh, ah, right. Okay, that's that's 12. And that's 9. Okay, we can't do anything to the bad guys. We are completely powerless. Okay, what happens now then? What happens? Are they going to get nearer? They come down here? I have no idea. How is this going to work? Right, so, they are... What are they doing? Oh, they've hopped onto some land and they're attacking our wall. Which I suppose does make sense for them. Okay. Uh, right, big pile of money. A javelin ear. I suppose that could be handy. Uh, let's refresh that for now. Uh, cabin lumber mill. Okay, that could be good. Big land. Oh, that's a load of land. Yeah, we'll have a bit of big land, please. Do we need another cabin in the mix when people arrive? I think we'll get another cabin. Okay, go to there. Why is our cursor going underneath that now? Uh, longbow Tower Archer. Minus 1% happiness per turn, but an archer would be quite useful. Do you know what? We'll get an archer card in play, and then we'll exit that. Right, so they're now attacking us, which is just rude. We can't play the archer. We can't do the standing stones, because we haven't got enough stone. Um, why are they gathering wood now? 
The gathering wood and not stone. Get us some stone, please. <laughs> I need some stone. Um, let's refresh. Hang on. Where's big land? That's big land. We could do big land. Let's go and do big land. We'll do big land there. Look, yay for the big land. That's quite nice. Can we do little land and fill in gaps? If we do that, does it fill in the gaps around there? That'd be quite useful. Or just there. Should we see if it works? Oh, no, it doesn't. Botherations. Okay, we'll put that there, look. And then we will go to the next turn. Can Here we go. Another meteor. Right, chuck a meteor at... I mean, you are causing damage. We'll chuck a meteor at you. Boom. Okay, right, you've gone. That's quite helpful. Another palisade. We could potentially... Oh, another bit of land and we could put it over there. Okay, right, end that turn. We'll see what you do. So we're going to sail over here. And you're trying to attack our walls, which is, let's be honest, a little bit rude. But there we go. Right, Hailstorm. Uh, plus two bleed to enemies within a five by five race. Okay, right. Chuck hail at them. That's quite appropriate given the weather. And food are okay. That we can't do. That we can't do, unfortunately. That's, there's no point doing that. Okay, so go to the next thing. Okay, so faith is low, but... Oh, here we go. Meteor. Okay, we're going to sort the attack out. Boom! There we go. Right, that's all done. Go to the new year. We can celebrate the new year because we've vanquished some baddies. Yay, that was quite good. And we've got more big land. Okay, more big land over there, please. Build a great big wall. That's going to be glorious. And can we get some stone? Because that keeps coming up. That keeps coming up and we've not got enough stone to build it. So if we could have... People, yeah, it says wood per turn. I don't want you to gather wood. Gather stone per turn. It's right. I put it next to you. Look, it's next door, for goodness sake. Um, okay, hang on. Build the palisade. Spiky walls. Good spiky walls. Don't need the archer. Okay, refresh that list. Don't need a brute. Another cabin, actually. Another cabin might be quite useful. Um, we could put it... Hang on, what's the range of that again? It's immediately round it, isn't it? So it needs to go there but we need a bit of land in there first okay joe there's no rush on the cabin it's fine uh there's doing some fishing that's all good right end that turn summer comes around ah okay we've completed the community prayer that's very good we maintain eight followers and 80 percent our happiness for six consecutive turns okay wonderful claim our shiny reward it's this again can we have some different rewards please <laughs> these ones aren't exciting but we'll have that one again um that's going to keep coming up. That's just going to keep coming up again and again and again. Uh, we can't use that for anything. So now it's just about building wonders. It's just wonders. But yeah, that thing is gathering wood. And we don't want them to gather wood. Stop gathering wood, please. All uh, right, we're going to get a lot of food. Oh, hang on, we've got a new worker. We have a new worker. So assign somebody to their wood per turn four. Please go and hang on. Where's the choppy thing? We could chop all that wood down if we get our... Yeah, the Celestial Axe. Destroy all trees within range. Okay, boom. Celestial Axe. Now what are you going to gather? Wood. Where are you gathering the wood from, people in the gathering hut? There's stone right there. Go and get the stone, please. Right, go to the next turn. We're going to make them get some stone. Repair. Okay, we can repair some stuff. Not overly bothered with those. Let's refresh the list. Some land. Yeah, that could be useful. That could be handy. And the enemy do keep attacking from the same place. Was so it worth getting another longbow tower and putting them up near the palisade wall that we've built in the northeast? That could be quite handy. And a gathering hut and that tower as well. Refresh that list. A windmill. A windmill. That could be quite useful. Um, yeah, plus one food per turn. That would be handy. I mean, stone is the big thing we need. That's That would be more useful. Uh, do you know what? We'll exit for now. So autumn comes around. Food is maxed out. Happiness is as high as it can be. We've got nine followers and one is surely going to be on the way. Gold mine is... Ah, gold mine's run out of rocks. Well, it's funny you should say that because look at that. Hooray, there are rocks now. That's wonderful. And harvest, no point doing that. Uh, okay, hang on. Workers come out of the longbow tower because you're not doing anything and it's a bit pointless. And... Is it worth just refreshing that list? Forest, archer, we still haven't quite got enough stone. What are they mining? Wood, but how do you tell them to change? I don't want them to mine wood. I want them to mine the stone. 
That's the whole point. I want them to mine the stones. We can build a great big standing stone wonder. But no, okay, right. End that turn. Winter comes round. Right. Got all the... Here we go. Right, hang on. Can we get that bit of land in? Yes. Okay, right. So put a bit of land in like that. And then we can get a cabin. Put that there. That's within range of the tavern. I think that's going to make it happier. Okay, so happiness is going to look quite good. We've got a spare worker gathering hut. Can we please put a gathering hut just there, which is surrounded by stone, surrounded by the stone. So don't have anything there. Have that, yes, yeah, stone per turn, please. Can we have three people in there gathering stone? Longbow tower should go there. Uh, yeah, we've got the we've got the money for it and the resources. Do you know what? Put a longbow tower there then. And then eventually if people do come from the northeast, we can attack them. Okay, this is going well. This is going well. Clear that. Right, go to the next year. Yay, happy new year, everybody. Year seven now. And we've still not died. Marvellous. Right, loads of attacky things. Enemies approaching from the northeast and southwest. Well, that's just rude, isn't it? That's not called for at all. I think, is it worth, hang on, refresh that. Oh, botherations. Okay, I want to be able to, I want to be able to build the wonder because we need to build two of those for our prayer goal things. And I think we've got enough stone to build one of the wonders. We could put it in here, look, in the big load of land. That would be fantastic. There's also big land there as well. Um, and we could put a bit over here, look, if we wanted to do some more building. Another wonder might go well over there. Right, hang on. Refresh that list. Yes. Standing stones. 20 stone, 10 faith, plus 60 maximum faith and double our current faith. Gain one wood for each tree on our island. That's going to be huge. Hang on, let's put that right down there, look. So pop that there. We've got a wonder. We've got our first wonder, which is definitely not Stonehenge for prehistoric legal reasons. Okay, that's good. That's exciting. We can now have a lot of faith. We go through that quite quick. Stone, hopefully they're going to gather some stone. They're gathering wood per tone. Well, of course they are. Got, because they're surrounded by stone. So they're going to go in to that tree, are they? Brilliant. Okay, thanks. And... Okay, food is looking okay. It's spring now, isn't it? So yeah, food's going to be fine. So we don't have to worry about food. Um, however, when is, when's the attack? It's not this turn, is it? So right, okay, go to the end of this turn. Enemies attacking next turn. Okay, right, so I think what we do is then, let's take three people out of those gathering huts and we'll take, yeah, nobody in that one. And the gold mine as well. So we've got five unassigned workers. So put three people in that longbow tower, two people in that longbow tower. That should give us some good defense. That should give us some decent defense. Also, I notice that all the attacky cards have come out again. But if we keep our faith, we can keep refreshing the cards. And eventually we can be able to you know, get some attacky cards on the baddies. That could be quite handy as well. Can we use this? Can we deploy that? In a we could put that there, look, and build some palisade. That might be quite useful. Right, I think then we save all that faith. How long have we got? 36 turns remaining to build one more wonder. We haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Ooh, ooh, right, okay. Scary things have appeared. They're no longer just like angry Vikings and people with swords in a boat or something. They're kind of mystical, magical things. Oh, bother. Right, uh, we'll have a bit of land. Can we please get the next wonder? The next wonder would be useful. Meteor storm. Yeah, we'll take a meteor storm, please because that's going to be useful. Um, fish Chapel, plus one faith per turn for each follower in range. That sounds amazing. We'll have one of those, please. Can we get the lightning? Okay, we'll have a bit of lightning. Can we please get the next wonder card? Ten oh, there it is. Temple of the... Ca it's ten money, and we've got seven. Botherations. Okay. <laughs> right. That's a nuisance. We can't get Temple of the Cow. Well, we know it's there at least. Okay, right, fine, we'll come out of that then. Right, there are bad guys. There are bad guys all over the place. Um, that's gonna make... Oh, that's enemies on the island. Don't think anybody's on the island yet. I think they're next to the island, which is a bit of a nuisance. However, we could potentially get some palisade put in over there. That could be quite helpful. Defend that a little bit. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got towers there and a tower there firing at these guys. That we could use next time. Spike. Oh, hang on. Spiky walls. They're next to that, aren't they? If we deploy spiky walls, 
That might take those three down. Yeah, okay. Spiky walls, please. Boop. They're gone. Okay, that was effective. That was very good. Hang on. Were they, oh, they were adjacent. We took one of them down as well. Okay, that was really good. Yay for the spiky walls. They did something exciting. Right, let's just get this sorted. End our turn. So we're chucking arrows at you. They've gone. Firing arrows down here. So one of these kind of creepy looking things is gone. But they are attacking us. Right, Meteor Storm. Can we chuck... Ooh. Hang on a second. Hang on. If we tilt that round, that's going to affect the tiles with the baddies on, but not our lovely fishing dock. Wee! Bang, 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 bang. There we go. <laughs> right. That's dealt with them. Everybody comes back out again to have a lovely fun time. Right. Wonderful. That worked quite well then. <laughs> that was good. That was very effective. Um, okay. Go to the new year. Uh, fishing tiles have been depleted, but there is still fish over there. That's fine. Spiky walls, no use. Palisade. Can, can we do any more palisade stuff? We could do the Miracle Harvest again. Just top our food back up. That's never a bad thing. Um, we have got a spare worker not doing anything. Oh, but hang on. Yeah, we can... Hang on. Click the redraw button above end turn to draw more cards. Oh, I, I know that game. I know that now. <laughs> Why are you telling me that now? Um, I think, yeah, let's take the people out of the Longbow Towers because we don't need them anymore. Uh, we'll put one in the Gathering Hut. And we'll put two on the fishing platform. We've got three unassigned workers. Put them into the gold mine. And then we might have enough money to buy the fancy kind of wonder card when it rolls around. So end our turn now. Got no real need to do anything else anyway. We could connect up to that just there. That might be quite useful. If we have a bit of land. Um, okay, 41 faith. Right, go like that. Yeah, there we go. A bit of land. We can connect up to that new island. Recycled. The relic in your hands is brittle, but it could still have some use. Perhaps a little work. It will be as good as new. Okay, so try to repair it or discard it. 50-50 chance of either getting a random relic or having a decay card added to your deck. So a decay card, I think, causes problems if you don't play it from your hand. I think it destroys other cards or something. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's try to repair it expansionist added to your relic collection hang on hang on what's expansionist do um one to five happiness when you build a building oh that is marvelous um and that's telling us about food oh okay hang on if you right click does it tell you things oh it tells you things okay that's quite useful to know right we don't have anything to do there so end of the summer harvest time is when we get our new cards so another farm would be quite good but food is looking fine as it is we'll get Another fish thing. I'm being a bit careful with this because we need to keep some money for if the wonder appears. We need that wonder. Um, okay, another cabin would not go amiss. We'll have that and then just keep going until the wonder appears. Oh, please appear, wonder. Um, okay, no, this, this is all unfortunate so far. The Great Workshop. That's a wonder. Plus 80 storage for wood, stone and iron. Double current wood. Hang on. We, we can't we can't make that one because we haven't got any iron. <laughs> oh, I got excited. Never mind. A Colosseum. Okay, 40 stone. Oh, crikey. It's 40 stone. Uh, 80 gold storage and double our current gold. We can afford the gold, but we need 40 stone. And we can only have 30 stone maximum. So we'd need some sort of stone storage yard thing. Uh, do we just keep going into the next one? We've got three more goes. Okay, do you know what? Go to the next one. Um, a great tomb. That's another wonder. Um, okay, that again we can't build because we need more stone. How can we need a stone yard? Can we store some stone, please? Each worker provides plus one stone per turn for each rock in range. Yes, we need that. That's what we need. So we might have to get some stone on the way first rather than relying on those rubbish little kind of hurt things, get a proper quarry in place. That can build up the stone, but then we've got nowhere to store it all. Um, let's use it the last of our coins. Can we find anything exciting? There's loads of exciting cards. Oh, a brewery, and we can't afford it. No game. 10% uh, happiness. 
that could be useful, but we're okay. Do you know what? Just, that's fine. That's fine. That didn't go entirely according to plan. Botherations. Okay, so I pop some more fish over there so they can keep fishing. That's quite good. And I think as well, let's get a cabin in. Let's get another cabin in because we are rapidly getting to our population limit again. So let's get another cabin in over there. So we can now have 14 people and our happiness goes up because we built a thing, which is wonderful. And I'm just kind of hoping to get the um, quarry in. But now we can't do that because we haven't got enough gold. Botherations. Oh, this is all becoming a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Okay, um, let's have a big, long bit of land. Let's put a big, long bit of land in there to fill that in. And you know, we'll end our turn. We'll end our turn. We'll just stock up on the money. It's fine. Right, we'll just go to the new year, possibly. we we'll just save up various things. So faith is piling up. Enemies approaching. Don't want to hear that. Let's get some more fish set up over there so we can keep on getting food. Uh, miracle harvest, no point. Got plenty of food. Got one spare worker now. One spare worker. But we are going to start taking people away from where they work and want to put them back into the towers to defend. Um, chapel is stone. We're not getting the stone. We're just not getting the stone we need. Um, I think if we get the quarry, if we're lucky enough... We might get the quarry, possibly. That's going to be key to everything. Uh, there we go. Quarry. So if we get that, and we put that there, three to six stone per turn. Yeah, don't put it over here. No rocks in range. That's lies game. There's huge big rocks. Um, yeah, we'll put that there, look. So they can now get some lovely stone. And I think what we'll do is, hang on, in terms of workers, let's take all the people out of the gathering huts, because they're a bit rubbish and put them into the quarry to actually generate some actual amount of stone. And then we might be able to build some exciting things. Right, go to the next turn. So summer, enemies approaching from the southwest. So down here. Okay, oh, we can put a chapel. Plus one faith per turn for each follower in range. That's plus eight faith per turn. Put that in immediately. We need a person working there. We're going to get a priest. Oh, that's quite fun. Um, let's, I don't know, drop the gold mine and have somebody working in the chapel. There we go. So we've now got a permanent priest set up, which is very good. Um, and, okay, I think we just carry on. We're going to get attacked. But yeah, we've got plenty of... We've got, oh, okay, I say plenty. We've got some money right now. Can we please get a wonder that we can afford coming up really quickly? We're not going to get a wonder, are we? Um, cabin, smelter, converts one stone to iron per turn. Oh, that could be handy as well. Requires two wood per turn. That's how we make iron. Okay, right. We'll have that as well. We'll have that. And then we'll come out of this. Right, we're going to get attacked, are we? We're attacking next turn from the southwest. Okay, right. Let's get people in that longbow tower then. So let's say have people coming out of the fishing platform into... Uh, not that one. That one. So one, two, three. Three people in the longbow tower. They can defend over here. The, oh, the mines run out of, it's run out of things. Okay, do you know what? Get people out of the gold mine, only two people there, and put you into, where do we put you? Where do we put you? Two lumberjacks, because we're not getting that much. Oh no, we're getting plenty of wood. Okay, it, it's fine, it's okay, that's all good. Right, I think that'll do for now. Palisade... Yeah, we haven't got any land down. It'd be useful if we could get a big bit of stuff down here and build a big wall. But we can't... We haven't got any land tiles at the minute. Uh, we could always do that. Is that going to give us some land? No, we'll give us some fish, though. We go stock the fish back up over there. That's handy. Right, end our turn. Here comes some scary-looking kind of... They look nice, but the, but they're scary angel types. Okay, right. Let's drop... Uh, ooh, hang on. Three damage to a single target. Wet enemies take double damage. I mean, they're in the sea, or they're floating above the sea, possibly. So we could drop a meteor on one of them. That's okay. So drop a meteor on you. So boom, you've gone. And then I think we can get you with lightning. So that zapped you. Yeah, oh, god powers. And then hopefully you can be dealt with from the tower. So can we then just get you... In fact, if we do that, look... That's just going to cause you damage. You're now bleeding. And then get the smelter in. Convert stone into iron. Then we might be able to build some exciting things. So put that over there. That'll do. Yay for that. Right, go to the next thing. And we'll see how they handle this. Okay, so go to next year. 
And they're going to fire at the baddies. Boom, boom, boom. And, okay, they're attacking our thing, which is a bit mean. And they've gone. Evaporated. Where have they gone? They've disappeared, which is unexpected, but, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, right, we'll do a miracle harvest. Top our food back up. That's quite nice. Um, okay, no, things are looking good. Things are looking good. Got a spare worker again. Hang on, right, let's just, let's just do what we can to get through to autumn when the harvest arrives. And then we'll try and pick ourselves up a lovely, exciting, um, lovely, exciting wonder card. We do need to get some more, which we do need to do, actually. We need the rocks card to appear. Where's the card which gives us rocks? Because we do need to get some more rocks over here near the well, the gold mine and also the quarry. Because they've worked their way through all that stuff. Oh, come on. Where's the rock card? Please give us some rocks game. Okay, the game isn't giving us the card which allows us to create rocks. Either the game is being very mean to us and it's just sort of you know laughing at us from behind our backs. Or we've used up all those cards because you can only use some cards a certain amount of time. So maybe we've used them up, which is a little bit of a nuisance. So what we're going to do is all the people that are currently working in the quarry and possibly in the gold mine, or nobody in the gold mine. Um, go and, hang on, come back this way. Oh, oh, they're all different buildings. Hang on a minute. Um, go, yeah, gathering hut. Go and work in the gathering huts, please. Just gather some stuff. It might be stone, it might be wood, I don't care. Eventually it will be something useful. We'll end our turn. Okay, so summer comes around. This is good. We're just going to end our turn again, because we have to get to the harvest bit. Temple of the Cow. Okay, so again, that requires 40 stone storage. How do we store stone? We've only got 30 stone stores. We need some sort of stone locker. Uh, okay, do you know what? We'll have that for now, then. That's the thing that we could possibly build. And then we'll refresh that. And then we've got nothing. Okay, it's going to be like this. Okay, a lumberyard is for wood. There must be an equivalent one for stone. We just haven't got it yet. Okay, that's a little bit of a bother. Right, we'll just sort of let time tick on a bit then, I suppose. Okay, so another year's gone by. We're back at the harvest. Let's try and get the card that allows us to create some rocks because we desperately need some rocks. It's going to be really handy. And also, if we do see something which allows us to store stone, that could also be quite useful. Um, nothing overly brilliant like that. Come on. Ah, here we go. A warehouse plus 40 storage for stone. We have to have that. That's key to everything. And now we've not got that much money left. But if we could just have the card which allows us rockfall. Perfect. Okay. Right. That's what we want. That's brilliant. Is it worth getting that as well? The granary could be quite useful. Okay. So now we are going to get attacked from the northeast and southwest next turn. Bit of a nuisance. But for now, we don't need to put anybody in the things. Next turn, we do when they arrive. Okay. So rockfall. Put that over... Uh, there. Put that over there. Look, right, so plenty of rocks have appeared. I don't know if any around the gold mine particularly, but there's lots over there near the quarry. So we could get... Hang on, so people come out of the gathering huts. Three people are still... Hang on. We need to take you out of the longbow tower for now. Put some more people back in the farm. That could be useful. Um, put some people on the fishing platform. And then can we get... Where's the quarry? Uh, put two people in the quarry. So we get some stone. That's going to be useful. We do need that eventually. We haven't got enough money right now, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, so end our turn. The bad guys are sailing in. Oh, crikey, there's all sorts of different bad guys going on. Uh, right, lightning. Let's use lightning on one of these. So, boop, you've been evaporated. That's good. Granary is gold and wood. Do you know what? Let's put a granary. Let's tuck it just there. Look, why not? A yay, we can store some more stuff. Uh, palisade. Got nowhere to put it at the moment. We have got a new bit of wall down here, which has got in their way, which is quite good. Um, okay, right. Refresh that list. Hailstorm. Okay, right. Make them... Uh, yeah, make them bleed. So they can hopefully just bleed out by the time they get around the corner. That's going to be fine. And then, hang on. Spiky walls. Do spiky walls, jabbity jab those things. They've been dealt with. That is marvellous. Right, people are coming back out again. People are all happy with life and everything else. And then we will do a miracle harvest just to top the food back up. Okay, this is going very well. Okay, clear, get rid of all that kind of stuff. Um, 
Yeah, plenty of trees over there. They're taking a long time to get through those trees. They've been there since the very beginning. How long have we got left? 18 turns to build one more wonder. I think we're going to be fine. Um, oh, they've gone. They've bled to death. Okay, that's fine. Don't come and attack us. Stop being nuisances. So now we need to just... We need this stone storage is what we need. We need that stone storage thing. So let's just keep... There we go. Warehouse. Plus 40 storage for stone. Let's put that. Let's put it down there. Joe, let's put it there, look. In a slightly inaccessible place. Because why not? It's down there now. Uh, more fish over there, please. Keep us going for food. Rockfall. Put that there. And then we can get some more people back in the quarry. So we can get some more money. That could be quite handy as well. Right, so hang on. Who is where now? So somebody in the chapel. Two people in the quarry. We don't need people in the longbow towers anymore. Yeah, they're not there anyway. Because the bad guys were dealt with. Four people in the farm. Right, fishing platform. Has got three lumberjacks too. Let's take a lumberjack out. And we'll take... Oh, cracky, hang on. We'll take a fishing platform person out. Because food's fine. We're okay for food. And then, can you go I'm in the smelter? would be quite good. Get somebody in the smelter. That could be quite handy. And then get somebody in the gold mine. There we go. We need more people. We can have two more people now. Can we just get loads of people moving in? That could be really handy. Okay, do you know what? End our turn. Let's see if we do get a wonder coming up. Temple of the Cow. Bother. We can't build it. We are three bits of stone short from being able to build the Temple of the Cow. Oh, that would have been exciting as well. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. Just go to the next turn. It's fine. Um, We don't need anything right now. I think we save our money. We don't need a thing right now. We're okay. We're muddling through and it's all good. Right, so we've got some nice gold coming in. Uh, rock fall. Again, just put some rocks over there. That's going to be handy for those guys. Uh, enemies approaching. Okay, again, bit of a nuisance, but it's fine. We'll sort it out. Right, go to winter. Enemies approaching from the northeast. New person joining next time. I think we save all of these resources. Save everything. We've got plenty of all the things now, which is good. Right, so the enemy are attacking next turn from the northwest. From up there. Okay, we're going to need our god powers to do with that. So how about we do not, do not use up any of our faith now. And then we can keep doing that, cycling through the deck, find all the attacky things, and strike the attackers down from the skies. That sounds like a good plan. I like that. So... We will just end our turn now. Right, so two boaty baddies have come in. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. We can't get them with the spiky walls, but we can just keep doing this. Right, Meteor Storm. Oh, look at that. Boom. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wait, what? How resilient are those boats? Okay, they've got some resilient boats going. Also, Temple of the Cow. We can build it. We could build the Temple of the Cow. Plus 150 food storage and double current food. That's magnificent. Where can we put the Temple of the Cow? Um, we can put it in here. We can put it above the other wonder. We can have Wonder Way. It can just be a little walk. We can walk along and see wonderful things. Temple of the Cow, some big rocks in a circle, a field. Amazing. Put that in. There we go. Our prayer has been answered, or the people's prayer has been answered. Two wonders, Bill. Twelve turns remaining. And then it says, face your doom. What? Why are we facing our doom? I don't want to face my doom. Boss attack next turn. I wasn't expecting a boss attack. I'll be completely honest. What? <laughs> a boss attack? Uh, put some more stone around there. Um, hang on. Right, refresh that. Right, another meteor storm. This is fine. Right, so blow them up. Boom, boom, boom. Meteor, meteor. Right, that's all done. Everyone comes back out. So next turn, we're going to be attacked. But we've just built some exciting, lovely things. Please don't attack us. Right, next turn. So how about then... Uh, we haven't got enough housing for everybody. We've not got enough housing for people. Where have we got 17 people from? Good grief. Um, I think we... It'd be nice if we could get another house in, wouldn't it? Can we just keep refreshing that until we get a house? A house would be particularly useful. If you give us a house game, that'd be nice. I don't want to use up all of our faith points. No, the game isn't playing, but do you know what? We're just going to go to the next day. Hang on, no, we're not. What we're going to do is... We are going to take everybody out of the non-essential things. So smelter not required, quarry not required, three people in that longbow tower. We don't need two people in the fishing platform, two people in that longbow tower. We don't need somebody in the gold mine. Put somebody back 
in that longbow tower. So the two longbow towers have now got three people in each. And we're just going to have to rely on using our faith to refresh this list and then just getting a load of people involved. Right, okay. Absolutely. Harvest. Oh, it's a big terrifying thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Big scary thing has appeared. Maybe if we can get another building, get another house in place, we could get some more people involved as well. But hang on. Um, we'll buy a javelin here. Refresh that list. Right, hailstorm. All these things are going to be useful. So get ourselves a hailstorm. That could be handy. Uh, yeah, none of that. That's not required. That's, oh yeah, cabin. Get another cabin in if we can. I think that should be okay. Are we going to muddle through with this? Right, so there's a big terrifying beastie there. I don't like that very much. Can we zap that with some stuff? Um, it's not over us right now, is it? So hang on, hang on. So if we refresh that, lightning. Okay, three damage to a wet tug. I don't think he's wet because he's flying. So that's not going to do too much, but three damage is three damage. He's at 40 out of 50. Ooh. <laughs> okay. You're, you're going to be tough to defeat. This could be a problem. Okay, right. Keep whacking him with stuff. Right. Hailstorm. That's going to make you bleed. Okay, you're going to take some damage over time. Keep going with the things. Meteor Storm. Okay, chuck meteors at you. That caused two points of damage. Better than no damage. Spiky Roots will affect eventually when they come into the thing. Oh, spiky walls. Yeah, there you go. Jab you for 12 points there. 33 out of 50. Uh, another meteor. Yep, drop that on you. Boom. Okay, lightning. Zap you with lightning. <laughs> we are going through our faith quite quick, but I think this is quite good. Um, okay, I think we keep the rest of our faith until next turn. That thing is going to attack us. Uh, but it has taken a good whack of damage, and it's bleeding. So if we go to there, it's going to take some more damage, I think. Yeah, it took, what, three or four damage? Um, it has made a hole in our defences quite easily. Okay, right, that, that's a bit of a bother. Let's get another house in, shall we, though? Yeah, we'll put a house there. It's by the church. That's fun. Right, now we can get some more people in. So we could put a brave noble archer just there, look. One of our people can become an archer. You can fire at that. That's going to be helpful. And if we could, here we go. Meteor, chuck a meteor at you. That's fine. Keep going with this. Um, no, a javelin ear. Can we get a javelin ear in? Yep, that's going to attack you as well. Everybody, all, all the people arrive and do the fighting, please. Can we get another meteor? That's going to be helpful. Chuck a thing at you, down to 18. That means you can bleed a bit. Okay, right. Go to the new year. I was going to say Happy New Year, but we're being attacked by a giant, floaty, terrifying demon monster. A demon cyclops. So we're firing. Doing our best. Okay, you've taken some good damage. You're still around. Oh, no. Right, the tower's gone. And the people in the tower have, understandably, legged it out of the way. I kind of get that. That's fine. Right, spiky roots. We've not used any of that yet. So let's use that, look. So that's going to cause you to bleed. You've only got two. You've got two left. Come on. Come on. Give us a card that can just whack it right. Me to yours. Here we go. And boom. <laughs> Splendid. A glorious victory. And we've got 4,397 points. We built two wonders. We killed quite a lot of people. Quite a lot of enemies. Um, yeah, sort of a mix of Regular folks, are they Vikings possibly? Some kind of floaty demon angel ladies, some weird kind of witchy things, some banshees, and then a giant big floaty one-eyed boy just there. And we built, definitely not Stonehenge, for ancient legal reasons, and a big temple where everybody loves a cow. Marvellous. Okay, how are we doing there? Um, oh look, friends high school, oh look! <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, we, we've been, we've been Nook, we've been Nookrium in this. Oh, that's amazing. Legion did very well. I'm not quite sure you are Legion, but well done. You've done a grand job. But there you go. So island size, that much buildings, 270 buildings. I don't think there are 270, but ah, 270 tiles maybe with buildings on, possibly. We dealt 925 damage. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. That was not too bad. And then continue. And then, oh, okay. New cards unlocked. Oh, I like this. Foragers, a, it's a pie shop. Why didn't you give us the pie shop first game? Oh, look, it's got a little awning. I like a little awning. Okay, 
Right, so there's a pie shop now and foragers. So they can forage for lovely goodies and they can turn the lovely goodies into pies in the pie shop. That's magnificent. And there's a bit of rain as well, which I suppose is quite good. Oh, and it makes people wet. Oh, I see. And then the lightning is more effective. Ah, oh, oh crikey. Uh, stone house, better housing. Stone wall, better wall. Build it up. Convert palisades in range to stone walls. Okay, very useful. Do I want to continue with that run? I mean, we'll look around at what we've got. Because, yeah, I don't want to sort of just run away from it. But here's our little settlement. But, yeah, we have completed what the prologue has to offer. I think that's kind of it. We've done what we can do in the prologue. But, um, yeah, that was very good. I like that. That's really, really good. It's an interesting way to build things up with all the different cards. And you get the cards you put in your deck. And some of them can be used so many times. And they expire and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we did have the age-old problem of getting food, of course. It's a time, an endless, an endless problem, a timeless problem when you're playing a game like this. It's always gathering food that's the issue, but I think we did okay with that. I mean, at the moment, we're on minus 19, but I think, have we got anybody down in the fishing dock? No, they're all sort of doing defence stuff, so yeah, we could sort that out. Everyone's very happy, got plenty of resources coming in. We'd get those in if we sorted out the people, but at the moment, they're all hiding from the big baddie. So yeah, that went very well. That was really well, and I really enjoyed that. I thought it was quite interesting. It's a nice level of sort of nice balance kind of game. Bit of a balance of trying to build your settlement up and get your people in, but get your defences in, and then make sure people are happy and fed, and all that kind of stuff. And I like the fact you've got the goals, and you've got your god powers and stuff. They were quite fun, being able to chuck, you know, flaming meteors at baddies and all that kind of stuff. And of course, spiky walls. Everybody loves a nice spiky wall as well. So all in all, that was very good. I really enjoyed that. And um, yeah, we'll keep an eye on this one. We'll keep an eye on it and check when the full version comes out, because this is only the prologue. So this is kind of like the first chapter of the game. We'll keep an eye on when the game comes out properly. And we'll see maybe, potentially, if it's a little bit different to this, we might possibly pop back to it and see what else the game has to offer in the later levels. But yeah, we'll finish things up for now because we have sort of come to the end of what the prologue has to offer. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense and gubbins that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.